Hi guys, this tutorial is about the advanced color feature in Home Inspector Pro. Uh, this feature allows you to use more than just the two colors that are set by default for our damage panels or our, our observation sections. If I look at a section of the report right now, uh, I can select as many comments as I want. I can select black if it's a minor issue, red if it's a major issue, and it'll appear in the summary. Uh, both those colors can be changed, so that would allow two different colors in the report. Uh, if you're looking at uh, a section that has a selection panel like this where we just list the materials, that can also be a third color. And if we go to something like Attic Insulation where there's two selection panels, Home Inspector Pro actually allows you to do you know, one color for this selection panel, another color for this selection panel, and then you have these two colors here. The advanced coloring feature allows you to go over these and actually allow you an unlimited number of colors within the damage panel. If I double click on a comment right now, you'll notice um, there's, there's nothing here for advanced colors. So we're going to enable that feature right now and then we'll see where that extra box pops up. We're going to go up to report settings, click on formatting. and then we're going to click on advanced color options now notice just like in, in all areas of Home Inspector Pro we always have a pretty detailed explanation up at the top uh, also a lot of times if you, you can hover over different buttons in Home Inspector Pro and it'll give you more information by default we have the black color listed I'm going to go ahead and add another color let's say blue and uh, this color could be something that uh, I want to show on the summary or I want to call out but you know it's not maybe a safety issue or a real severe issue that I want to have in red. And then I can add another color and we'll call it uh, how about green and we'll use this for maintenance issues. Now I'm not going to add whatever color we've assigned to the red to the summary issues because that's already handled by this button here. These are different colors and you got to make sure to click the enable advanced colors and I'm just going to pop over to let's say kitchen dishwasher. Now if we double click on any comment now you'll see there's a new drop down box this comment right here says the dishwasher did not operate when tested alright well that's not a safety issue but it's definitely a big issue so maybe I'll say I want this to be blue and you'll notice the comment actually shows up in blue right here let's go down here's another comment lack of a proper air gap noted again not maybe a safety issue and of course everyone has their own idea of what would go in the summary and show in red and what wouldn't but uh, I'm just gonna say this is kind of somewhere in between and so the, the point here is that I can click on this comment and if I click on red it's gonna go to the summary but we've actually overridden the default color and it's gonna appear in blue if I selected a couple other issues and I clicked on red those comments are gonna appear on red so w when I select on a normal comment and I click on my, my major button here it's going to be colored by whatever we set it to be colored. Now if I select these comments I can also say I don't want them to go into the summary section but I still do want them to appear in blue and that will make them show in the report as blue. So you get to determine whether you want these items to show on the summary or not. And just to kind of click on a few different comments I can show I can add other colors in here. So these advanced colors override our minor and major issue colors. I could add this to my summary or I could add it to a minor area issue as well. When you're using the mobile version of our software, you're not going to actually see all these advanced colors. What's going to happen is the program is going to add a number in front of it. So the black would be one, blue would be two, and green would be three and those numbers will show in front of the narrative. That makes it a little easier for the mobile software to add unlimited colors without slowing down the app. So you would just need to remember that you know blue is your, your second color and green is your third color. If you guys have any questions on this, please email us at help at homeinspectorpro.com or click on help desk 
or live chat on our site or give us a call. Thank you very much. Bye.